Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're continuing our series where we make themed shops and guys today's topic is ruins, okay? So sort of a, a cave slash overgrown uh, sort of a thing, okay? I don't really know how else to explain it. First things first, we'll have to hop on into Blender and make an asset pack for this specific shop. And if you missed last episode where we built the flower shop, it looked like this. And I think it turned out super, super incredible. I don't know if this one's going to turn out as good because it's ruined. So our colors are literally going to be green and gray. I have no idea how I'm going to build this one yet. No plan in my head, but I'm going to build the asset pack first and then hopefully it turns out awesome. So into Blender we go and I need to make myself a little list of what I need to make a ruins asset pack. Alright guys, so I made myself a little list and we have a pillar, a broken pillar, icosphere type grass, which uh, is literally just an icosphere and a bunch of different sizes and rotations. And then wood vines, I'm thinking something that could wrap around an object, for example the pillar, would be pretty sick. Steps and a wall, because we want to give like a, a very textured appearance. So first things first, let's go ahead and make the pillar and the broken pillar. Let's grab a cylinder, turn this down to 16 sides, because I think that'll work A-OK -okay for what we're trying to do. We're going to select all right here, and then go to select and checker deselect. This is gonna grab each individual one, and I'm gonna do Alt E, extrude along face normals, and we're gonna bring these out a little bit. So now we have sort of a pillar design. We're gonna go into our wireframe mode, edit mode, face select, grab the top face, and just bring this up quite a bit so it's an actual, you know, pillar size. I think that looks pretty good. And then we need to add something on the top and bottom to make it look like an actual pillar. So I think what I'm going to do is just do E and S. Oh, I'm not clicking on it. Yikes. And just this middle part as well. I'm going to do Shift D actually. Scale this up. Perfect. And then I want to do P and Selection. Now that'll be its own thing, at least for now. And that'll help me out for building purposes. So let's grab this. Edit mode. There we go. Face select our front orthographic view. And now let's make a little something. I'm not exactly sure what. We're going to scale this in. And then bring it up and out one then this with a little bit bringing it out and then a little one with a lot bringing it out so something like this for the top and the bottom and then we'll just do shift d r 180 to rotate 180 degrees drag this to the bottom and see how that looks for a pillar to be fair it doesn't look that bad but it also doesn't look that great i don't know exactly what i want to do to uh to make it better and to be fair, do I even need these outsides here? I could just use a lower amount of sides on a cylinder. All right, guys, so I went ahead and edited, edited it a little bit, and I just made the sides a lot smaller. So it still gives a very good pillar effect, but it looks better, at least in my opinion. Now, we're going to shade smooth on this and on this, and then auto smooth, of course, because, yo, those need to chill out a little bit. So perfect. <laughs> Bless me. I don't know if you can bless yourself when you sneeze, but I, I just did it. So here's how we're looking for the pillar. I think it looks pretty good. And now we're going to do control J to join those together. And then shift D to duplicate and make another one of these bad boys. Put the fixed one over here. And then this one will be the broken one. So let's do delete the top of that. I want to grab this face. I'm actually going to have to grab all top faces. So I'll use my circle selection tool for that. I think it'll be the easiest way to do it. Yeah, I'll have to. Uh, I'll just go around and I'll unselect that last piece right down here. There we go. Now I just got to drag this down. I'm thinking about half of the size. Looks good to me. And I'm going to drag this side up with proportional editing on. I don't know exactly how I want to do this just yet. I just know that I want to make it look a little broken. I mean, hey, that doesn't look that bad. To be like 100% honest with myself, it looks like a broken pillar, does it not? We might just keep it like that. That looks pretty good. And then, of course, we will add in some subdivisions because we do want this to look quite a bit broken. I'm going to go to my vertices selection mode and then do control shift B. And that allows you to bevel vertices and it'll just make it look a little more broken in certain spots. For example, I can grab this control shift B and we'll add a bevel. And now, as you can see, it just looks a little broken. All right. So I just selected every vertice and then I'm going to go up here to select and select random. Wow, that, that did not work at all. Oh, maybe I have to be selecting one at the beginning and not all of them. <laughs> so we'll do that and then uh, select random. Yes, that's pretty much exactly what I wanted. Maybe a fewer selection, but this should still be okay. And I do want to deselect 
any of these top ones because that will definitely break our mesh. All right, after trying that a few times, definitely not a good idea. We're not, we're not gonna do it that way. All right, guys, so I think for the broken pillar, that will do it. We have broken pillar and normal pillar. Easy, those are done. What do we have next up on our list? Icosphere grass, that's super, super simple to do. I don't know if I'm going to uh, make it in studio or in blender. Blender would definitely be smarter because yeah, it would only be one mesh and then uh, we wouldn't have as much to do in studio, but in studio we have a lot more control. So I think I'm going to do it in studio. And with that, I only need one Icosphere and uh, we're gonna hope for the best, okay? I think doing it in studio will be the better alternative long run. Now I have wood vines, and um, there's a few different things I wanted these for. I think it'd be really cool to have one wrapping around a pillar, so I will make that. Let me do set origin, um, set geometry to origin. Wow, that was that was wrong. <laughs> Let's just put it here in the middle, and I'm gonna try to make a uh, kind of like a branch going around this. I I'm horrible at stuff like this though, so I don't know if it's gonna work or not. All right, guys, this is actually looking a lot better than I thought it was gonna, so praise everyone, all holiness, okay? I think this looks pretty sick. Definitely uh, pretty stoked with it. So I'm gonna have this as exactly what it is. Let me shade it smooth uh, right there. Oh, whoops, crap, 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 hello? I should apply my modifiers here. All right, and now let me shade smooth and then auto smooth, and that looks pretty dang good. I might, I might up the auto smooth on this so it's more of a more smoothed out like that actually looks a bit better to me. And I could, if I wanted to bevel this edge here, uh, all hard edges, I could bevel the hard edges, but I think I actually like it. So there's that, we have our branch, exactly how I wanted it to be fair. And do we need this pillar? No, we don't. Cause I could just match the branch up with the pillar I wanna put it on. That'll work. And what else do we have asset wise that we need to make? So we just have steps and a wall. Now my goal is to make these textured like pretty good. So check this out. I'm gonna start with the cube and then we're gonna kind of manipulate this cube a little bit. Uh, scale on the X axis, something like that. And I'm gonna try to build like a line of them, okay? So use an array modifier to put them out and make them all random from each other, at least every three. And then I'll just stack them on top of each other and that'll build our wall. And we'll probably reuse these for the steps as well. Even though I don't really think we need steps, it's a flat shop. I don't know why I put steps on the list to be fair, but for now, let's get these uh, these rocks done and then I'll see you guys probably in studio. It is go time. We are now in studio with our assets here and uh, I have no idea. I still don't have a clue on how I'm going to be building this out. I think I'll start it out with just making the walls and then massive pillars on each corner and then figure out how I'm going to decorate it. I genuinely have zero idea on how I'm gonna be decorating this one. I can't even lie to you guys. All right guys, so I think for the wall, this will work. It does look a little strange since I have a gradient um, on each piece, so it like gets dark again. So I'm thinking instead of doing this like three tall, we'll do it two tall, but since it's only two, I can grab these and then I'll rotate them or uh, turn them actually, there we go. And now it kind of goes dark, light, dark and it just makes a lot more sense. Another thing is I'm going to delete a set, so like this, and then I'm just going to scale the other set so it's big enough to match up perfectly with uh, with how it was. That way we don't have as many walls. So like, check this out, scale that up somewhere about there. Now it's taller and not as much, okay? I think that looks pretty good. And then on the sides, it will just be like one tall. So instead of two walls tall, it'll just be one. I'm gonna make some progress on this. Try to get something looking awesome, and then I'll be back with you guys. Hey, it's coming along pretty good, guys. I've got a little bit of ruins. Uh, well, I guess that's quite literally the shop name. Um, yeah, I got some stuff scattered around, okay? <laughs> Let me just say that. I am gonna add a bit of rotation so they don't seem uh, as, you know, flat. I added a little bit, but you know, if I cut it a little more, that looks good. Now, I'm going to start with this. Guys, this one item right here is about to make this look so, so much better. Like, oh, y'all have no idea at all. 
no idea this is gonna make it look 50 billion times better the ground in here is quite flat so i may add some dirt hills we may add some of these dirt hills i'm not too sure uh they'd probably look good though so let's grab one and take it over 1-800 reusing my assets yeah yeah <laughs> all right yeah this will definitely help bring us uh, some more color to it Hey guys, so I think this is where I'm going to call it. Now, I made these trees a very long time ago, but I think they fit pretty good with uh, the aesthetic I'm going for here. So here's what it is, guys. Here's the shop for the ruin zone. And uh, I'm pretty, pretty geeked about it. I think it looks really good. Of course, what you buy from the shop is not in here yet. So I think we're all good for as far as what we can do. But that is going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.